All right, let's look at effects applied to multiple layers to see how they can all kind of work together. I've got this map of COVID trends. This is showing you the number of new cases in the past week in each county in the United States. So purple is not good. It means number of cases is on the increase. So if I touch this county in Wyoming, I can see that it's had 142 new cases in the past week. And that's out of 226 active cases total. So things are definitely on the rise in this county. And you can see that in this chart. Now here's um, all the data showing in the most recent weeks right here. And uh, we can kind of drill in on that part of the chart and kind of see week to week has just been going up. And in contrast, areas in orange have decreasing count counts of new cases but they're still coming off a high, right? So if I click in Tennessee, again, I can kind of see if I focus in on this side of the chart, they had a big spike and they're coming down, they're heading the right direction, that's why they're colored in orange, but it, we're still dealing with a large number of active cases per 100,000 in the county. So that's the intent of this map. Now let's take the number of effects kind of one by one. Um, we've got this base map and on top of the base map, I've put the counties into the color pattern where purple is good, I'm sorry, purple is bad and orange is good. And then we've applied an additional effect. And you probably already spotted it on screen. You probably were thinking your eyes needed some adjustment. No, it's not you, it's me. The blur was applied to here at a, a certain value. So here's no blur at all. And here's a blur of about 12.8 or 13. The reason I applied blur is I wanted these arrows to stand up on top of their respective counties. So I wanted the counties there, but I didn't want this real clinical literal definition of the county border to interfere with your eyes ability to see pattern. Whoa, hit the wrong button there. Let's get this north again. Cool. All right. So what I was saying, I am doing it again. So we're going to hit that and more carefully handle the touchpad. So you can see these trends up in Iowa where there's a lot of counties heading the wrong direction right now. There's a couple counties heading in the right direction. Compare that to Missouri where most of the counties are small arrows heading in the right direction. Okay, so I, that was the whole intent is want those arrows to stand up on top. And another way to get them to stand up on top is to apply a little bit of a drop shadow. If I turn this off, you can see what it looked like before. All the arrows are relatively equal to one another, relatively flat. And then when you add just a hint of drop shadow, somehow the bigger arrows, they tend to stand up just a little bit more. And the little arrows, they're still there. If you want to see them and you need to see them, they're, they're on the map. But I just like how the drop shadow adds a little bit. And then lastly, I wanted the state lines to factor in and add a little bit of a mood to it. So if we look at the effect applied to the state lines, it's called Bloom. And uh, this was kind of funny. I discovered this by accident, to be honest. So I was just goofing around with it. And I'm like, yeah, I wonder what happens if I bloom like a whole lot, make the strength of it really big. And you notice how it darkens all the areas surrounding the state border. And that wasn't really my intent. I want a little bit of bloom and the radius. You could mess around with that to see what effect you want. Do you want it at this end of things? I thought that was too dark and foreboding. I wanted a little bit of lightness in there. And um, I really appreciate that the uh, map viewer team took the time to try to adjust these things automatically based on scale. So as you zoom in, you still see it. I might adjust things a little bit at each scale to just kind of see how this fits. I, I just value having the state border there since um, how COVID is being dealt with is dramatically influenced by what state you happen to live in. Okay, so those were the three effects I wanted to show. Some of you also noticed that as I zoomed in, um, I no longer see solid polygon fills. I see kind of urban settlement patterns. How is that occurring? Well, that's this layer here, the world population footprint. If I go to its properties, it's got a um, destination atop blend method applied. I'll turn it off for a second. And this is what this layer might look like normally. It's just a layer of where the built environment is in these counties. And if I apply destination atop to it, what that does is it says, hey, all those areas that were in black, 
let whatever color is underneath it, i.e. from this better or worse layer, let that color bleed through. And it just gives a little bit of the settlement pattern, which is kind of useful. Thanks for checking this out. Thank you.